Uncanny X-Men 191. Um, again, like I said, the island of Manhattan is still, you know, this barbaric state. Um, Kulan is pretty much used Spider-Man, like put him on a cross pretty much, and using him as a sacrifice to unleash the master spell that will go throughout the entire globe and turn it all into a barbarian world that he'll be able to rule. Um, so obviously the X-Men and the Avengers team up to kind of stop Kulan by storming his um, base. And we get some pretty cool moments. We see Star Fox and Wasp um, kind of do some stuff here. We see more Storm and Morlock stuff. Um, but the main fight is between Vision and Colossus. Obviously you can see the cover of what this issue was. Um, the two of them try to Vision tries to solidify himself in Colossus and basically causes it to, both of them to explode. Um, <clears throat> which is kind of savage, really. And that leaves all the other heroes kind of like pretty wounded. Um, Spider-Man gets his last bit of strength and kind of fights back and is able to take the amulet from Kulan, which Doctor Strange uses to kind of reverse time with the help of Ileana Rasputin. Um, to go back in time and prevent all this from happening in the first place, which is kind of cool. Um, so, thank God that whole storyline's over and only took two ep two uh, issue episodes, two issues to get done. But um, yeah, and then the last little piece here, which is kind of cool, is you know I remember mentioning Jamie Rodriguez, who was the guy who had this amulet that released this power that started this whole thing. Um, a a mutant. Um, shows up named Nimrod that's such a weird name <laughs> um, I think it's like an insult like I you know people call people Nimrods I guess I don't, I don't know maybe that's that's a different name anyways he shows up and saves Jamie from being killed which essentially prevents the amulet from falling it falls into like mud and then it basically disappears um, but the only caveat to that and that's how it always is with changing the past is uh, Nimrod shows up and notices that this era of the world is such against mutants that now he must go about obliterating all mutants if they are hated. So that's the gang of the gang, I guess, of messing with time is you fix one thing, but then there's another thing that comes up and gets screwed up. So, but overall, um, I'm glad the storyline was done and wrapped up in this issue. I just did not get into it. Kulan Goff is just such a one dimensional villain that I just didn't really like um yeah i don't know just really not much to talk about here for this one um a lot of characters too so kind of hard to keep track of who's who and what's going on really but uh at least the next stuff to come here is much better so uh that is uncanny x-men 191